<laughs> Garrett, take a picture of them. Sorry, make sure, make sure I'm, it's I'm a beautiful being a, picture. I'm being a director too over here. Yeah. Re, or the USA student section right in here in front of us, getting ready, getting pumped, getting excited for this game this evening as we're getting ready to tip off. And the tip is back. It's going to be won by USA, or excuse me, by Reese. Isaac John's going to get this one up to DeMarcus Palmrider. Quickly up over to the hands of Turbush. Turbush throws that back. Already loud in this gymnasium this evening, so we will do our best to over-talk them. It is going to be Turbush. He's going to be double-teamed on the far sideline. He is going to get that ball back, though. Turnover off the back of one of the USA players. Back up to Kramer. Kramer going to get this right in front of the Reese student section. He's going to back up. As he throws that over to Heckroth, Heckroth pulls back here for USA. The Patriots in their predominantly blue jerseys. Got the red numbers, the red trim, a little bit of white in there. Obviously, the red, white, and blue. USA Patriots makes a ton of sense. And the Reese Rockets with their predominantly white jerseys. Got the yellow numbers and a little bit of maroon in there as well. Passing this ball around the perimeter. Kramer fakes the shy. He's going to drive this. Floats it up. No good. Going to be rebounded here by number 15. That is going to be Mouse as he gets that back over. Another miss there. Heckroth comes up with the miss, or excuse me, Reese comes up with a miss off of Heckroth, floats it up, Gabe Robinson right here in front of us, three-point shot, start things off, no good, back of the iron, we're going to get a call away from the play, and that is going to be against Reese, I believe that's going to be against Jake Rao, that'll be his first of the evening. Just like that, up and down the court, you know what's going to be coming, so be ready, be prepared, and uh, well, if you want a ball game, we're going to give you one hopefully tonight. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was out of breath last time, and I had no voice, but, so we'll see if we can get it that way again. As going to be USA inbounding this one. Moving from left to right on your FM dial. Going to be taken away. Nice steal by Turbush. Going to be poked away. It's going to go off of USA. So it will stay in the hands of Reese. So right at the center court on the far sideline. Going to be inbound here by the young man, Tanner Turbush. Right at the timeline. And unfortunately, Turbush made that turnover, made it at the wrong area, but was able to kind of get that ball back. Lazy pass. Close it up. It's going to be taken away here by the Patriots. Number three, Nash Morton getting USA on the board for the first time this evening. 2 nothing is your score. 6.34 left to go. Well, USA is going to push, right? And when we say push, they're even going to press. And that's what Coach Gainforth had out of them last time is they're going to press and press hard. Game still tied up. Franken with Millington, 29 apiece at halftime. Gabe Robinson with it, floats it over to Turbush. It's going to be Turbush with it. Back over to Palm Rider. It's cross-court pass over to Robinson. Robinson kicks it down low to the freshman Rao as he goes up with a shot, misses it. It's going to be stripped away by Heckroth, goes out of bounds. So it will be back into the hands of Reese as they're going to take this ball. Turbush along the baseline here. Very thin baseline very, over here in Reese. Thin. We've seen uh, throw some people off. High inbound pass going to be tipped away by more in, but uh, you are Reese going to come up with it. Going to be taken away here by Kramer. <laughs> Isaac Johnson lost a handle on it. Somehow he gets it back, though, out of the hands of Kramer. We're going to get a guard or a call here against Mouse as he was trying to guard against Turbush yeah. along the baseline. Yeah, just a little bit of a little, a little bit, bit of too a much hip. body there. Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of hip, too much body, and that's going to go ahead and give Kyle Mouse his. Uh, First foul of the night. Here comes Robinson out to the corner. See if they can get it to him. Not going to. Palmrider oh. trying to drive that. Looks like we're going to get a call here, and that's going to be against number three. Be Morton. That'll be Morton's first of the evening. Kind of kind of surprised. Uh, Kramer looked like he thought he might have that one. Johnson from the corner. Back of the iron, no good. Rebounded by the young man. Tanner Trubush, smallest one in that group. Somehow comes up with a Gabe in the corner here. Not going to happen. Front of the rebound, front of the rim, no good. Going to be taken away here once again by Morton. He's going to drive this. He's going to be fouled, fouled hard by Johnson. And down he goes. But they're just going to walk their separate ways, luckily. And we're going to get a first call of the evening here against the Rockets. And that'll be the first one on Johnson as we're going to get inbound pass here by Kramer. 23-21, bad X over Carroll at half. We're going to get a long three-point shot here. No good. Going to be rebounded by the Patriots. It's going to be over in the corner. Patriots have this. going to drive the baseline. It is going to be Kramer. Flips it back wide open. Morton puts up the three. Fills it up and in. Nash Watch Morton. Out. First five points of the evening for him. First five points of the evening for the Patriots. As they go up 5-0. 523 left to go. Trying to charge this one down the court. Just throws it away. Turbush turns the ball over. And it will be Patriot ball. We're going to get a timeout here. 
by the Rockets. A good timeout here oh, you by had Coach to see, Kern. You, you had to see that coming, right? You got these freshmen out here playing a little, playing, playing a little, uh, I don't know, moi, right? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, just just not with it right now, and uh, Jake Rao is one of them. Uh, Palm Riders, the other one, just really, really rough right now. So again, 23-21, Bad Axe over Carroll at half right now. And our other halftime score we got, Millington, Frankmuth all knotted up 29 apiece here at the all for cure game, Reese USA coming your way this evening. And uh, so far, uh, USA getting the better end of it uh, as they were able to uh, get two nice buckets here by Morton. And uh, Morton leading the charge here for the Patriots as we're going to get a well, that's been the I think thing. everybody is the there, same coming back on that timeout. There's kind of a lot of wealth being spread around on this team, right? I mean, it could be Kramer one night, it could be Heckroth one night, it could be Zimmer one night. You don't know who it's going to be. And, and, you know, for, for Morton to step up in, in, in a big game, that's what it's about. Ball being passed around the perimeter here. It's going to be into the hands of Heckroth. Down low, they're going to get this. It's going to be a fall against Turbush. So I do apologize if we don't get a name and we just say a player because we're the student section right here in front of us. They're up tall. I, I guess it really doesn't matter which side we were to sit on because no. you know, the student one section another. either way. But nonetheless, uh, that's, that's what it's all about. But uh, Mouse going to go to the line. He's going to be shooting two free throws <laughs> as he is handed the ball down on that uh, Reese, Reese Rowdy section, student section. First shot is up, finds nothing at the bottom of the net. I want to thank Jansen Equipment and Reese, your Case IH dealer. Visit them at 9676 Second I'll shoot and Reese or online jansenequipment.com. Rex Lobauer checking on in for Jake Rao. Second shot by Kyle Mouse. Three dribble shots up. In and out. Rebound Robinson. Six nothing ball game, 508 left to go. Robinson floats this up. Another dangerous pass by USA. But they got bailed out there. Reese did by Mouse as he was stepped right on the line. He's going to be out of bounds, so we'll go back to Reese. Uh, it's going to be a quick inbound pass here to Marquis Palmrider as he is on the other side of the timeline. Back over to Gabe Robinson in the corner. He's going to drive this one. We're going to get a call here against Zimmer. the Patriots. It's going to be against uh, Zimmer, Landon Zimmer, his first of the evening. You know, something we saw last game, and I don't think it's cleaned up too much, is kind of the lazy passes here by the Reese Rockets. Yeah. Still, still these passes they shouldn't be looking at, right? I mean, you, you, you can't go across court passes. This USA squad is quick to the ball when you float them up there like that. It's going to be Turbush as he gets it over. Luckily, it's Breckless Bauer right there to bail him out as he picks the ball up. Down low, they're going to get the Breckless Bauer high off the glass, oh. rims in and out. 6 nothing ball game still as USA leads a charge down. Heckroth going to drive this one. And gets one. the love from the rim as that goes in and one. As it is an 8 nothing ball game. Heckroth now going to the line, trying to increase this lead now to 9 nothing with 4.38. They must have got my tweet as they saw that they were held scoreless a couple years back into the second quarter. They're trying to do the same thing now this evening to the Rockets. I'll tell you what, uh, it very well could happen. You know, some of that is easy shots, but uh, Heckroth's shot finds nothing but the bottom of the net. Going to give him three points just like that on the ninth. 9 nothing quickly up. Palm right to Marquis as he puts it up. He's going to miss the bucket, but he's going to go to the line, so he's He's going to try to break the cold streak here for Reese and get them up on the scoreboard, which would be a huge thing for the Rockets right now, at least to get some points up there. Well, one way or another, you got to get it done, right? And DeMarco West going head to the line, going to shoot two here. Uh, picking up the foul on that one was Mouse. So uh, going to give him two on the night. First shot up, hits the front, hits the back, and rolls on in. So that one is good. A quick want to thank uh, Drive to the Shore to save you more and more Shoreline Chevrolet Buick and Seawing Go USA. For all your insurance needs, contact Michigan Valley Insurance Agency in Unionville, providing the coverage you need and service you deserve. 674-4380. Second shot is up here by Palm Rider. No good front of the iron. So they did get a point on the board. I'm sure they would like to have one more. It's a 9-1 ball game. Quickly up to Zimmer. Zimmer gets this one down low to Bixman. Bixman just passes it out over to Heckroth. Heckroth, no look pass, trying to get it into Bixman. Almost got it to go. Isaac Johnson comes up to steal back the other way. Ooh, going up, man. Turbush. The young man is not afraid to go down low with that. I saw that the other night against Cass City as uh, he's not afraid to back down from the uh, the big men down low as he goes to the floor, but he's going to try to uh, earn these points here. 9-1 ball game, 4-15 left to go. Turbush at the line. Uh, he's a small kid, right? I mean, Jersey's pretty much almost falling off of his body, not very big at all, but finds the bottom of the net on the first free throw. And you're right, he just attacks. He attacks the rim, attacks, attacks. He, he is not afraid of contact. 
He's going to put the shot up. Hopefully this kid finds a growth spurt. Obviously he's only a freshman, but he hits a growth spurt. Could be a fun player to watch. Misses the second free throw yet again. We're going to get a travel call here against USA. Very interesting call. Two players and also DeMarcus Palmwriter had his hand in there. And it's going to be a turnover by USA. I don't think USA got the idea because the student section just chanted back to basics and that was a turnover. <laughs> by the Patriots, so it's 9-2 ball game, 4-5 left to go. Isaac John's going to drive this one, nice gets it down low to Breckless oh, Bauer, too much man. behind it, trying to get a call on that one, not going to get that uh, easy of a call this evening. Morton on the other end, right in front of the student section, fills up the long-range ball. It is now a 12-2 ball game, excuse me, 10-point lead here for the Patriots, kicks it out over to Gabe Robinson. Gabe going to drive this one, floats it up there, awkward shot, misses it. Going to be rebounded by Palm Ryder. Going to be rebounded once again by Robinson. The putback is missed, but he is going to go to the line now. So all the points so far for Reese coming from the free throw line. We'll see if they can add on to that. And they're trying to shrink this lead. Again, it is a 12-2 ball game with 3.38 left to go here in this first quarter of play. we got to shrink it somehow. And if it uh, if it calls going to the line, that's exactly what you got to do. But yeah. you got you, you can't shoot 50%. You've got to start nailing them down. And uh, just like that, as I speak, Robinson misses the first one. Uh, checking, checking on it here for the Reese Rockets is going to be Darnell Davis. Darnell Davis taking. He's been playing very well as of late. As Gabe is able to fill up the second part of the free throw shots there to make this now a 12-3 ball game. Long range shot here by USA. Didn't see who that was. That is going to be Zimmer as he's able to fill that one up. Increases this now to 15-3 ball game as. USA just eat them up from beyond the arc as that one's going to be passed through, going to go off the hands of the Patriots. So we'll stay down here for the Rockets. We've got yeah. another update here for three, you. three or four behind the arc. Not only that, but you have the and, and one from Mr. Heckroth giving him three points as well. 53-39, Michigan on top of Indiana. Ten minutes left in the game. <laughs> we were watching that one before our game started. Darnell Davis gets this inbound pass. He's on the far sideline in the corner as he flips that back over to DeMarcus Palmwriter. Palmwriter with it now being guarded. And that's oh, just another lazy man. pass. They're going to be taken away by Nash Morton. Morton going to put up the shot. Was that Morton or Heckroth? That was Morton. Morton putting up the shot. And they are feeling it as Heckroth comes back to the bench. Pumping this crowd up. 3-0-1 left to go. 17-3 is going to be the score. We're going to head to a quick timeout. We're going to come back. We've got more Game of the Week action for you. It's I-92. More Shoreline Chevrolet Buick and Seabwing has close to 200 new Chevrolet and Buick cars, trucks, and SUVs in a great selection of certified pre-owned. Visit moreshoreline.com now and find your car today. While online, you can also schedule a test drive or even schedule service for your vehicle. More Shoreline serves Cairo, Bad Axe, Bay City, all of the thumb and beyond, and they are ready to serve you. Chevy, find new roads on M25 in Seabling or call Moore Shoreline today, 877-272-3219. Welcome back to the Classic Rock I-92 High School Game of the Week. Let's get back to the action with Scott Bowlesby and Chris Wilcox. We are back with your Classic Rock I-92 Game of the Week. Reese, USA, and it is all USA so far in this first quarter. 17-3, 3-0-1 left to go in now, this first quarter play. You know what? We're not even out of the first. we got enough time left on the clock. Not even on the first, what, five minutes? Mr. Norton has already got himself 10 points. Young man having himself a game this evening. I said watch out for the supporting cast. Uh, you got to watch yeah, out he, for Heckroth, Kramer, and the supporting cast really stepping up here for the Patriots as Morton having himself a game. Going to be inbounded. Moving from right to left on your FM dial. The Rockets can inbound this. Palm Rider bringing this down. Flips it over to Gabe Robinson along the far sideline. He's immediately trapped as he was having to corral that ball. He's going to drive this. Goes to the opposite hand. Misses. Going to be rebounded here by the Patriots. Coming back down the other way. Fast and fierce. Landon Zimmer gets it up to Morton. Going to be a miss. Going to be a shot from Kramer in the corner. No good. Going to be rebounded by Johnson. Trying to bring this one up there. He's trying to get the call against Heckroth. Official not going to buy it as they get it up. Bixman going to run into Darnell Davis, a collision there, but Davis is going to get that call, so it will be against Bixman. I think that is his second of the evening, so quick second fall against the big man, Keegan Bixman. Bixman's not going to go anywhere too fast. He's a uh, he's a pretty solid kid, but uh, Davis is going to go ahead and step to the line, and you got to do something to really chip into this lead, and two free throws right here would be big. Still 17-3 ball game, but checking back on in is going to be Kyle Mouse. Morton taking a seat, Gettle and stepping Connor on in as Gettle, well. Yes. 
First teamer on the all hair team. Uh -oh. <laughs> first team. For first sure. team, first team. Actually, unanimous choice, I think, is what it was. Player of the year. Back of the iron, no good on that one and one. Already has seven falls as USA, so we'll keep an eye on that one as well. Heckroth crossing up on Johnson. He's going to lose the ball. It's going to go out of bounds, so we'll be back on the other way as we get some clapping going on. We haven't seen that since last year, the Hunter Bone era. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, Mr. Johnson <laughs> taking a, a card out of uh, Mr. Hunter Bone's uh, playbook there, huh? That he is. Coming back down the other way now, it is going to be the Rockets. Still 17-3 ball game. Johnson put out the three. Excuse me, Robinson put out the three. I don't wasn't Isaac, it was Gabe. As he fills it up, 17-6 ball game, 205 left to go in this first quarter of play. Definitely need to see more of that from Gabe. Well, you know he was going to pull the trigger left, well, left pretty much wide open in the corner. It is going to be in the hands of Zimmer right now. Landon Zimmer being guarded there by Gabe Robinson. Coming back the other way, Kramer trying to get his man to bite. Back no to Heckroth. Puts it off the side of the iron, no good. Going to be rebounded. Actually, it's going to go out of bounds. Not going to be rebounded. Gabe's just going to let that one go. So it will go back into the hands of the Rockets. So Reese, uh, see if they can use that three-pointer down here to propel them and keep things rolling with 145 left to go in this first. I tell you what, if you want to get some points up real quick, Mr. Robinson's got a hot hand, and uh, it might be just starting for him and the Rockets. And that's what they need. That is for sure. Palm Rider looking back over to Coach Kern as he flips it over to Isaac Johnson right here in front of us. Gets it inside, down low. I love how USA is getting ready to jump those passing lanes. It's like they already know where the ball is going. And, I mean, they are they are all over their defenders right now, playing a hard man-to-man. -man. Just like that, Robinson can't handle the pass from uh, Davis, and out of bounds it goes, USA ball. I have a player that's not in here. You notice that too, right? Levi I, I Foco. The, yep. So I do apologize here for Levi, number 20, as he is in the ball game. He is just a freshman. Another freshman out here for this Reese Rocket squad. Get him on the roster here. Gettle with it. That gets popped up, and that's going to go back to Reese. So another turnover here by the uh, Patriots. Getting shook just a little bit. We'll see if they can uh, get back on track. Coach Gainforth up, pacing the sidelines now, and uh, I'm sure letting the uh, Patriots know how he feels about these back-to-back uh, -back turnovers. Oh, Under yeah. a minute left to go. It is going to be uh, Palm Rider bringing this one up here. He's going to get that over in the corner for the Patriots. That's going to be an over and back. Andrew Frost as he tries to get that back over to Gabe Robinson, and they're going to call that, like Chris just said, an over and back. So we'll be back over to the Patriots. So going back the other way. So here in the last minute 30 of this game, or in this uh, first quarter, I should say, just a uh, game of uh, turnovers. Yeah. As they're going to inbound this one over to Heckroth as he quickly gets back over to Kramer. Kramer. Driving this one up against Frost. Back over to the hands of Zimmer. Tries to get it down low here. Mao says he is able to turn around, put up that hook shot. No good. Get it rerounded. Nice spin move there by Frost as he's bringing this up. 28 seconds left to go. 17-6, still your ball game. Patriots on top. Palm Rider bringing this one back as he's just going to slow things down a little bit here for the Rockets. He's going to drive this one along the baseline. Flips it back over to Frost. Out far beyond the arc. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by Heckroth. Heckroth trying to pull those hands back. Try to get it off Reese. Not able to do so. It's going to be rocket ball with 11.9 seconds left to go. 17-6. You're still your ball game. Patriots on top. Palm Rider going to inbound this ball. Looking. Trying to get it in. He gets it into Rao. Got a battle for the ball down low. Going to get a jump ball. I don't know which jump, way the arrow is going. Ball. It's going to go to USA. There it? you go. Man, not oh something man. wanted to see there no, for the Rockets. No, it's not, especially down down here, especially when you have possession of uh, under, under your own basket. That's that's a hard one, but uh, checking on in, Nash Morton. Morton taking the ball here on the baseline. See inbounds, skip pass into Mouse as they're going to get the Heckroth. Heckroth bleeding this clock out as he's going to drive this one here. Two seconds left to go. Tries to get some separation. Not able to do so. Just kind of passes over in the corner. And that'll be the end of your first. 7-6, seven, 17-6, six, six, excuse me, USA on top. We're going to take a 30-second timeout. Come back. We've got more Game of the Week action for you. It's I-92. 
Grazzle Graphics of Frankenmuth is your one-stop shop for all things screen printing and embroidery. Business, corporations, festivals, sporting events, teams, or even family reunions, t-shirts, jackets, hats, or any apparel you may need can be found at Grazzle Graphics. You can even put it all together and shop from their online store. Trust their 30-plus years of service, poor second-to-none customer service, quick response, and highest quality products around. Visit them online, GrazzleGraphics.com, call 989-652-5151, or in person, 9710 Junction Road in Frank. Welcome back to the Classic Rock I-92 High School Game of the Week. Let's get back to the action with Scott Bowlesby and Chris Wilcox. We are back with the Classic Rock I-92 Game of the Week. Scott Bowlesby here with you alongside Chris Wilcox as we bring you all the action. It's funny because my wife went back to school for uh, to further her career, and she's doing health plan, like she's going to, in the hospital field. So I open up my thing, and I got pictures of cells and amoebas, and I got a skeleton <laughs> picture now. You're like, what she is uses this? this laptop, and I'm like, I don't remember doing science, pro- science projects. Why do I have an amoeba on here? <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but uh, nonetheless, 17-6, still your score here. Second quarter play, we're going to start things up, and I uh, think it Garrett to go forth of Vassar as he decided to come on out here and join us this evening. Made it just in time. Updating our Twitter account at Let's Talk Sports Three. Check I this. I, heard, I, I wow. think I heard Garrett say you're welcome. Thanks, Garrett. Give me an inbound pass here. Reese going to have this ball as they're going to go down low with it. Puts up the shot. No good. It's going to be a rebound by the Rockets. Put up the floater back in the iron. No good. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by the Patriots. End of three, Chris. Millington 51, Frankenmuth 43. Oh. Millington taking maybe a... Mil- maybe Millington's not afraid to play him. Eight point, <laughs> eight point lead as a long pass here by Palmrider. Gets up to Gabe Robinson, and he is back beyond the half-court line as they bring this one up. Frost is going to be a long three-point shot here by Robinson. He checked no good. Rebounded by Mouse as he was able to get this one up quickly to Ghetto. Ghetto with the hair flowing, putting it up and in, and getting the points flowing as well. 19-6, your score with 7-18 left to go here in this first half of play. It is USA on top. Palmrider with it. Looking around, trying to float this one up. Nobody over there. Oh, man. He was trying to lead Jake Rowell over there. Jake looked, and uh, just that one-tenth of a second that he looked over there to see if Gabe was in the corner, and he wasn't, was just enough for that ball to go out of bounds, and it will be a turnover. Patriot ball right here in front of us along the baseline. Gabe 709 left to go. Johnson checking on in. Uh, also checking in is uh, Mr. Tanner Turbush. Going to be an inbound pass here to USA. Going to be Mr. Michael Kramer guarded here by Tanner Turbush. Kramer going to bring this one up. We're in the number 11 of the USA Patriots. He's going to take a long-range three himself. He fills it up. <laughs> Deep downtown there as they take now a 22-6 lead. It's all USA in this ballgame. See if uh, the Reese Rockets can slow things down here. Darnell Davis with it off his foot. Got a battle for the ball. We're going to get a jump ball. It should go to the Rockets. USA. Oh, yes, you're right. Reese just looks lost. I mean, they, they look they do. They do. look more lost than what they did the first game. You know, and I, I expected the, I'm not saying total opposite. And like I said, I was going out on a limb. Um, home court, you know, I would expect Mr. Robinson to have a big game, but he's being held in check right now as uh, Gabe only has four points. But uh, USA, watch out. They're, uh, they're just getting started, folks. Yeah, they are rolling right now. It's going to be an inbound pass to Kramer. Trying to get poked away there by Tanner Turbush. His defensive skills are uh, pretty top-notch. I'm yeah. excited to see this kid grow. little floater from the lane that uh, would have won him the game a couple months ago. Micah Kramer puts up the shot. He's going to miss it. Back the other way. He takes a tumble. It's going to be Reese Ball. It's going to be over to Foco as Foco flips that back on into the hands of Frost. A lot of freshmen on the court right now. There are a, a lot of youngsters out there for Reese. Getting some time as uh, trying to get away from this is Turbush as he gets it up to Rao. Rao back over to Isaac Johnson. Johnson with it being guarded there by Ghetto as he's going to drive this one. He's going to get the ball called against Gattle here. So we'll be the Rockets now heading to the line as they're going to call that uh, against Gettle. That'll be the eighth team ball in the first of the evening for Connor Gettle. Yeah, Mr. Isaac Johnson stepping through the line as he'll take uh, 
Let's take a one on one. Or I'm sorry, two shots. Two shots. First shot up. Fills that one up. Checking, checking on in here to Landon Zimmer. Checking, I did not see who checked out. Kramer, Kramer checked out. Yes. CMR Tractors here is Best County Tractor Dealership located at 7530 State Road in Millington. Visit cmrtractors.com. Second shot for Isaac Johnson. Oh, and off the side of the iron, we're going to be rebounded here by Reese. Frost comes up with the rebound as he flips that back over the round to Johnson. Johnson going to drive this one. Nice pass down low. He's able to fill that bucket on up and in. That is going to be Andrew Frost as he fills it up. Excuse me, that was Focal with the ball earlier. Frost gets the bucket right there. 22-9 is your score. Get a drive back the other way. Try to get those two points right back. They're going to get them and one. Kyle Mouse says he is able to fill it up. 24-9, your score. 5.34 left to go here in this second quarter of play. And it's all still USA in this one as they're looking to increase this. It's going to be the second foul on Mr. Tanner Turbo. She's going to check out. Gabe Robinson checking on in, but... Uh... Second and one tonight here. You know, we see we've been we talked about this quite a bit. We've seen a lot of and ones this year, um, more than typical. A lot of good body control out yep. there from these youngsters, uh, especially when they're driving the ball to the hoop. We're going to find the bottom of the net though. On that one is Kyle Mouse, and that's going to give him four points on the night, extending USA's lead 25 to nine in the second uh, second period with 5:34 left. No basket. No basket. All right. Lane violation. So so take that away. Hit, I will hit undo then. Still a 24-9 ball game. Still all USA. A real quick, 2:30 left to go in their ball game. Michigan on top of Indiana, 66 to 44. So all amazing blue in that one. Back here in our game, it is going to be a ah, turnover here by the Rockets as Kettle going to come up with the steal, snags that one down, and quickly brings this back up. It is going to be over into the hands of Morton. Nash Morton bringing this one up now as he flips it over. Heckroth had a lane, but it closed up quickly as he's going to flip that back over. Gettle going to put up the three-point shot. Fills it up. Hey, why not? If, if somebody else isn't hitting it, you might as well at least try to pull the trigger, see if you can hit it as well. As USA is 5 of 8 from three-point line. There is a three-point party going on. Everyone is invited on the USA side of things as they are letting it flow this evening. Wow. Going to be taken away. Another lazy pass, pass there. And that is going to be taken away once again by Nash Morton as they quickly get it up. Hands it off to Heckroth. Eckroth on the baseline, almost behind the basket, going to be deflected by Mouse as that's going to be taken away by Johnson. Quickly up the other way. Nice pass, nice bucket there. Reese needed that one. Andrew Frost fills that one up and in. Back to 27 11, your score, 427 left to go here in this first quarter of play. It is going to be Morton bringing it up now. Nash Morton pulling back on this one. We're going to get a call here. Going to be a timeout. Timeout here by the Patriots. We'll see what Coach Gainforth calls. So it's going to be a full or a 30. Uh, Waiting to see from the official. It's going to be a full timeout. Out. So we will take a timeout with them as well. We'll come back and we'll take 30 seconds. we got more Game of the Week action for you. It is Classic Rock I-92. Stay right there. As Michigan's insurance company, Farm Bureau Insurance offers a full range of insurance services to make your life easier and your future more secure. Your Farm Bureau insurance agent is your one-stop insurance professional. Through just one agent, you have access to auto, business, farm, health, home, life, and retirement. Visit your local Farm Bureau agent today. Visit the David Soper Agency and Wayne Sayers Agency, both in Carroll, or the Deb Croswick Agency in Union. Farm Bureau Insurance, Michigan's insurance company. The broadcast of today's game is a copyright presentation of the Michigan High School Athletic Association and 92.1 WIDL. No reproduction, retransmission, or other distribution of the descriptions or accounts of this game may take place without the express written consent of the MHSAA and 92.1 WIDL. Welcome back to the Classic Rock I-92 High School Game of the Week. Let's get back to the action with Scott Bowlesby and Chris Wilcox. We are back with your Classic Rock I-92 game of the week. USA all over the Rockets, 27-11, 4-17 left to go here in this second quarter of play. It is going to be USA ball out of this timeout. Coach Gainford taking that timeout. Up 16, and they're going to take advantage of that as Raul goes to the floor. Connor Gettle gets wide open under the basket. Raul right back to it. And it is going to be a fall here against Jake Rao. It's going to be a quick update here. 42-32, Bad Axe over Carroll as they start up the fourth. We kind of wondering how Bad Axe was going to do in that game coming off that loss to USA, but they are bouncing back nicely. 4-16 left to go, 28-11. Connor Gettle uh, dropping the first one. 
Uh, Going to take three bounces. Shot up. Off the back of the iron. Going to be rebounded by Gabe Robinson. 17-point game, 28-11. Gabe, as they're bringing that full court press here, he's going to break it, though. Nice drive as he goes to the right hand, lays it up. They're going to call that a jump ball. Nice job there by the Patriots. But it's going to stay down here for the Rockets. Nonetheless, nice job there by Connor Gettle staying right with it. And going to force them to inbound this. Heckroth going to be checking in. Gettle going to be taking the seat. Good minutes by Gettle. Very, very good minutes by Gettle. Yeah. You know, he, he, he comes in, he's he's giving you everything he's got. <laughs> so six points by Mr. Connor Gettle. Inbound pass taken away. Nice job. Swatted away here by Morton. He's just going to take that one right away as they're going to get up to Heckroth over in the corner here for USA. Catch and shoot there for Zimmer as he fills it up. 31 to 11. USA absolutely on fire. We said it was hot in here. And they are even hotter out there on the court. Uh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> if you want to talk about a party, they're having a three-point party. <laughs> and uh, it is going on tonight. Six of nine for USA shooting behind the arc right now. Just lights out shooting. But, uh, yeah, so far on the night, uh, Reese might have the edge on the rebounding side of things, but uh, it's all USA from hitting shots. And, uh, yeah. You know, it's it's those those second chance points that just you know Reese Reese can't get. They're, they're, it, it's it's the little makes underneath that they're having a hard time with in and out shots. Yep. Um, game's not going to be any closer. I'll tell you that. Not going to be any closer at all. It kind of you rely on Gabe a lot for the uh, three point shooting out there, and uh, he just hasn't been feeling it this evening. Uh, wasn't feeling it in the last game either uh, between these two squads. So. Oh, the, de the, de the defense itself is is, is swarming. Um, oh know, no! I yeah, I agree. Credit, but he gets his shots and it, they just USA. aren't I mean, falling for him. I mean, you're getting you're getting bumped when you're making cuts. Rockets trying to make something happen once again. Isaac Johnson passing it down low. Right there, that's called body language, and you gotta get you gotta get your mind and you gotta get gotta get your head into it. As you see, Gabe Robinson grabbing onto Isaac's jersey, saying, "Let's go! Let's get back on defense! Let's." Set. Get this ball back, 31-11, 3.29 left to go in this first half of play. It is going to be the Rockets, or excuse me, the Patriots with the ball. Heading into the zone. As they cycle this one around the perimeter over to Kramer. Kramer back on over to Heckroth. Kramer right there in front of the student section, and they gave him an earful. Trying to shut down this three-point shooting that USA has got really going right now. Trying to do so. That's uh, something that uh, would, would definitely help as Morton gets it over to Heckroth. It's going to be tipped away by Johnson. He is going to get it. It's going to go right in the hands of Zimmer. Zimmer back on over to Morton. Flips it over to Heckroth. Heckroth, long wow. range three. Back of the iron, no good. Rebounded by Gabe Robinson as he pulls this one down. 31-11, 2.50 left to go. Quickly up to Isaac Johnson as he puts up a long range three. Fills it up. Good start there for the young man. 31-14 as they try to make this trek back. Gonna have to USA's make it. been able to do it. We'll see if Reese can do it. They're going to have to make Gabe it go just, somehow. Gabe just absolutely shoved uh, Nash Morton right there and gets away with that. Well, that's he's, he's been getting the same thing from him down here on this end. So you start making those cuts, you're getting body check coming through the lanes, right? You're getting body checks off the screens, things of that nature. Wide open shot here. Kramer knocks it down from beyond three. What sounds like a good idea? Leaving Michael Kramer open? I think that would be a horrible idea, and that's exactly what just happened. Back to 34-14, 207 left to go here in this first half of play. All USA so far. Palmrider looking, trying to get this ball inside, not able to do so. Gabe immediately gets surrounded by three players as they're going to get this up. Kramer bringing it back down as he puts his body into Isaac Johnson. He's going to get the call. Isaac not sure exactly what else he can do. But uh, Kramer now going to reap the benefits as he heads to the line. That call is going to be against Johnson. That'll be his second of the evening, 8-7 ball game. 8-7 yeah, like, ball game, 8-8 eight, eight oh. team foul, 7th <laughs> team foul for okay, Reese. I, I, I was looking at Garrett. He's, he's smiling at me. He, he wants that Throwing me off, fluttering his eyes here. First shot up by Kramer, rolls in and out, hits the front iron, and no good. Uh, I'm sure Reese would like if it was an 8-7 Bix, ball game. Bixman checking on in, Mouse checking on out. Kramer here with his second shot. Shot is up and rattles home. So it is going to be 35-14, 148 left to go here in the second quarter of play. 
It is going to be the Rockets bringing it up here. Gets it inside. Going to be taken away once again here by the Patriots. They are just having a field day right now. Great positioning by Landon Zimmer right there on defense, getting in front of his man. Passing this one around. Kramer going to drive this. Flips it over to the corner. Catch and shoot. Three-point shot. Fills Guess it up what? and in. He's going to get rewarded on the other end just like that. Mr. Landon Zimmer feeling it as uh, he's almost sitting on double digits as well. 38-14. First half. We still have a minute 14 left to go. Huge lead here for the Patriots. As they are passing this one around, it's going to be the Rockets. It's going to be a long-range three here for Reese. No good. Going to be rebounded by the Rockets. Breckless Bauer coming up oh, with a rebound. Oh, man. Wow. I missed what happened. <laughs> it's right there on the line. Marquez Palmreiter, he's going to drive backwards, trying to get that call. Zimmer just steps out of the way, lets him fall. He's going to get the uh, travel call. Nothing going the race Rockets way right now. 38-14 here in this first half of play. Yeah, not uh, not going their way at all as uh, Kramer's bringing this ball up here to half, car half court. Going to be matched up here with Gabe Robinson. Reese still slaying off in that, uh, that zone defense. 40 seconds left, 38-14. Passing this one around. It is going to be Kramer with the ball now. Kramer is taking his time. Palmrider comes up on him. He quickly flips it on over to Morton. Morton right there. It's going to be guarded. Can't see. Is that 10, Sean Weil? Yeah. Thank you. Zimmer, excuse me, uh, Kramer with it. Gets over to Heckroth. Nice job cycling it around the perimeter. Puts up the three-point shot. No good. Kramer right there trying to pick up the trash. Puts it back. No good. Keegan Bixman with the put back. No good. Going to be a battle for the ball, and that is going to go off the hands of the Patriots. So it will be Rocket Ball, 38-14. A big shot here and a big buzzer beater before half. Anything at all would help out the Rockets as trying to shrink the lead. Honestly, Reese has got to be happy. They're only down 24. They could be down 30. They could as we get a Gabe Robinson buzzer beater. Just misses it. As you said that, they had a lazy inbound pass that was almost taken away by the Patriots once again. Nonetheless, 38-14 absolute clinic put on here by the Patriots. As we enter our halftime, we're going to come back. We've got more Game of the Week with your halftime show brought to you by local DQ Grill and Chill. It's not fast food. It's fan food. Stick around. Come on, man. Don't you die on me. Doctor, we're losing him. Clear. He can't die. He hasn't heard about how much money he could save if he switched from cable to direct TV. Uh, doctor? Clear! Plus, if he'd like Bad Axe or Carol's AT&T Facebook page, he could win prizes just in time for the holidays. Doctor, he's gonna make it! Behold, the power of savings! Hey, it's Bob Hughes from the Morning Traffic Jams. I want to take a minute to tell you about Air Advantage Wireless and Fiber Internet Services. Since I've lived in the Thumb, the only choice I've had for internet has been wireless, because that's just how it is out here. I went through two other providers before I found Air Advantage Wireless for my home. In the coming months, Air Advantage and I-92 will be telling you about the investment they're beginning to make in the Thumb to bring the world a little closer, a lot quicker. I am currently using that new technology, and it's the only company that has given me the reliability and bandwidth I can count on. So stay tuned. There's more to come from Air Advantage Internet Services. Grazzle Graphics of Frankenmuth is your one-stop shop for all things screen printing and embroidery. Business, corporations, festivals sporting events, teams, or even family reunions. T-shirts, jackets, hats, or any apparel you may need can be found at Grazzle Graphics. You can even put it all together and shop from their online store. Trust their 30-plus years of service, for second to none customer service, quick response, and highest quality products around. Visit them online, GrazzleGraphics.com, call 989-652-5151, or in person, 9710 Junction Road in Frankenmuth. Are you looking for new furniture, flooring, appliances? The place to go in the thumb is Schneeburgers in downtown Cass City. At Schneeburgers, choose from hundreds of models on floor, in stock, right now, ready to go. So whether it's a Lazy Boy chair, sofa, or love seat, they've got it at Schneeburgers in downtown Cass City. Maybe you're looking for flooring. Well, Schneeburgers has that too. Everything from laminate, wood, tile, whatever it is you need. If you want to get it at the best price around, then you need to go to Schneeburgers in downtown Cass City today. 
More Shoreline Chevrolet Buick and Seabwing has close to 200 new Chevrolet and Buick cars, trucks, and SUVs in a great selection of certified pre-owned. Visit moreshoreline.com now and find your car today. While online, you can also schedule a test drive or even schedule service for your vehicle. More Shoreline serves Cairo, Bad X, Bay City, all of the thumb and beyond, and they are ready to serve you. Chevy, find new roads in M25 and Seabwing or call More Shoreline today, 877-272-272. 3219. This is Tanya Rubin, sales executive at Thumb Cellular. If you're thinking of switching mobile phone carriers, consider Thumb Cellular. Now is the time to get the tailored service you need from the local company you can trust. Unlike the other carriers, we like to build lasting relationships with our customers. I will work with your busy schedule to meet and discuss how we can best serve you. As the only local cellular carrier with the best coverage in the Thumb and nationwide, I can introduce you to what we call the Thumb Cellular Difference. Get the device you want, the plan you need, and the exceptional customer service you deserve without ever having to step foot in the store. So if you're ready for a better cellular experience, call me, Tanya Rubin, at 989-553-5282. Remember, at Thumb Cellular, we've got you covered. You love Thumb Cellular! Hi, I'm Bud Schneeberger here in Cass City, and of course, Rusty's at it again. He got that whole semi-load of Lazy Boy chairs in, and of course, that means that we got to get rid of those leftovers. We got the new ones in right now, brand new Lazy Boy chairs, and of course, you know, Schneeberger's are always lowest prices in the thumb on all Lazy Boy chairs, all Lazy Boy products, sofas and chairs. And of course, it's coming in now by the truckload, and we've got a whole load of appliances coming in this afternoon. Washers and refrigerators, and dishwashers, freezers, upright and chest freezers, gas and electric ranges. So you drive a little, folks. You're going to save a lot on all those fine Lazy Boy chairs and appliances. And don't forget those flooring we got them by the ro rolls and rolls and rolls of carpet. So you drive a little, you're going to save a lot of Schneebers in Cass City. As Michigan's insurance company, Farm Bureau Insurance offers a full range of insurance services to make your life easier and your future more secure. Your Farm Bureau insurance agent is your one-stop insurance professional. Through just one agent, you have access to auto, business, farm, health, home, life, and retirement. Visit your local Farm Bureau agent today. Visit the David Soper Agency and Wayne Sayers Agency, both in Carroll, or the Deb Croswick Agency in Unionville. Farm Bureau Insurance, Michigan's insurance company. Larson Graphics in Vassar is your go-to for all your graphic and printing needs. They offer vinyl graphics with an array of options, small and large printing for everything from pamphlets and calendars to banners and entire wall graphics and everything in between. Have a business? Spruce it up with new signage or literally wear your brand on your sleeve with apparel options galore. Larson Graphics, located at 1065 East Huron Avenue in Vassar. Call 823-3000 or visit LarsonGraphics.com. That's LarsonGraphics.com. Let's look at the whys of multi-sport participation. First, there are skills in other sports learned that can contribute to a kid's main or favorite sport. Second, different sports use different muscle groups, allowing for healing time and development of all muscle groups. Sports burnout is very common among kids, even if there aren't any signs of it when they are younger. There's a chance a kid may decide a sport is not what they want as their main focus, and without having other interests, a kid can get very lost when they leave that single sport. Multi-sport participation is better for a young person's long-term health, physically and mentally. Multi-sport participation is cross-training for life. Learn more from the health and safety page of the MHSAA website. A message from the Michigan High School Athletic Association promoting the value and values of educational athletics. Officiating high school sports is a great way to stay involved and give back to today's kids the way others paid it forward. It's certainly not for everybody, but those fans can help officials by respecting the fact that they're out there for the kids. Even when they see the game differently, 
and probably correctly, than you. A message from the Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The broadcast of today's game is a copyright presentation of the Michigan High School Athletic Association and 92.1 WIDL. No reproduction, retransmission, or other distribution of the descriptions or accounts of this game may take place without the express written consent of the MHSAA and 92.1 WIDL. This is Tanya Rubin, sales executive at Thumb Cellular. If you're thinking of switching mobile phone carriers, consider Thumb Cellular. Now is the time to get the tailored service you need from the local company you can trust. Unlike the other carriers, we like to build lasting relationships with our customers. I will work with your busy schedule to meet and discuss how we can best serve you. As the only local cellular carrier with the best coverage in the thumb and nationwide, I can introduce you to what we call the thumb cellular difference. Get the device you want, the plan you need, and the exceptional customer service you deserve without ever having to step foot in the store. So if you're ready for a better cellular experience, call me, Tanya Rubin, at 989-553-5282. Remember, at Thumb Cellular, we've got you covered. You love Thumb Cellular! Welcome back to the Classic Rock I-92 High School Game of the Week. Let's get back to the action with Scott Bowlesby and Chris Wilcox. We are back with the Classic Rock I-92 Game of the Week between the USA Patriots and the Reese Rockets. 38-14 is your score. All USA, it is your halftime show brought to you by local DQ Grill and Chill. It's not fast food, it's fan food. And I'm going to throw it on over to Chris with a uh, rundown here of uh, stats, more so on the USA well, side. Hey, if you're a USA Patriot, you're definitely a fan right now as they are up 38-14. And Mr. Nash Morton leading the way with 10 points. Landon Zipper chipping in with 9. Micah Kramer with 7. Uh, you know, honestly, Reese is uh, lucky to find themselves only down 24 points uh, as it was just a rough go for him. Robinson, Frost, and Johnson. Have four points apiece. That's twelve of the fourteen points. Yeah, uh, by the Reese Rockets. But you told uh, me that I couldn't believe it, man, and uh, then USA I realized sh- USA shooting lights out. Eight of twelve from beyond the arc right now. Reese is two of seven from beyond the arc at the free throw line. Reese four of nine. USA four of seven. Uh, Reese is out round out rebounding. USA sixteen to ten though. Quick final here, uh, 57-40, uh, Carroll gets the, or excuse me, Bad Eggs gets the win over Carroll. Uh, trying to see if there's any other scores. Last time we heard 216 left. It is Millington on top of Frank move 59-54. So we'll keep an eye on that game as well going on as our game running a little bit later on this evening. That's why we had such a quick halftime there. 38-14, we might even run into a running clock before uh, too long <laughs> if things keep up the way they are, that's for sure. It very well could happen. We'll see what does happen, though, as it's going to be the Patriots inbounding this ball. They're going to be moving from right to left on your FM dial as it is going to be inbounded here by Nash Morton as he gets that in to Micah Kramer. Kramer quickly gets that on over to Mouse as Mouse with it now hands it off to Heckroth. Heckroth being guarded by Palm Rider right here in front of us. going to drive this one. He kicks that back, almost taken away there by Turbush. Not able to get the hand completely on it. Nice Pull up jumper here for Kramer. Mid range shot, no good. It's going to be rebounded though by the Patriots. Quickly over in the corner. Zimmer puts up a long three. Wow. Nothing but the bottom of the net. You couldn't have done it better. I don't know how, how wow. more you could have made that look beautiful. As he fills it up, makes this now 41 at 14. 720 left to go here in this third quarter of play. USA absolutely pouring it on here. The ugly it's just a big getting ugly. Start. That is for sure. Turbush now with it. Picks up the screen there by Gabe Robinson. Tries to go up with it back to the side of the backboard. I should say it's going to be rebounded by USA after that miss by Turbush. Quickly up. It's going to be Kramer being guarded here by Turbush. Tries to get a hand in there. Pokes it away. It's not going to be able to do so. Back over to Zimmer. Zimmer back over to Kramer. Kramer pulling back right over top of the Reese Rocket logo, at least to the left of the Reese Rocket logo as he gets it over to Heckroth. Heckroth now with it. Skip pass over to Zimmer. Zimmer now being guarded by Johnson. Going to drive this one. A little floater from the baseline. No good. Rebounded by Robinson. Gabe Robinson with it as he quickly brings this back down the other end. Or slowly, I should say, brings this back down the other end. Over the timeline here. Gets it over to Palmrider. Marcus Palmrider over to the hands of Turbush. Turbush stops. 
Trying to get it to somebody. Gets it over to the hands of Jake Rao. Rao now with it. Going to get over to Johnson. Going to drive this one. Going to go off a couple of hands. That is going to go off of Jake Rao. And then it'll go out of bounds. We'll stay, or excuse me, we'll go back in the hands of the Patriots. Turnover. From right to left. After turnover, after turnover for the Reese Rockets. And that's why they only have 14 points on the board. Michael Starr, Crop Insurance Agency Specialist in multi Piro and good, uh, Crop Hail, excuse me, Good Luck Rockets from Michael Starr. And also want to thank William Ivey, Attorney at Law, Allegiance, Compassion, Knowledge, Go Rockets. As we get a whistle here. Going to uh, be a charge on Kramer? Yeah. No? Was it? No, it was a block. Okay. Legal screen called against uh, USA. Uh, Kyle Mouse. That's his third of the evening, 41-14. First fall of this second half of play. Marcos Palmreiter gets it over to Gabe. Gabe back over to Johnson. Gets back over to Turbush. Turbush now with the ball. Give me a drive here for the Rockets. Gabe Robinson able to float that one up off the backboard. Fills it up. 41-16 with 5.36 left to go in this third quarter. Patriots back down the other way quickly now. Nash Moore, a nice skip pass inside to Kyle Mouse. Nice pass. It's going to be over to Zimmer. Almost loses it. Is able to corral it. As he passes one around, Kramer now with it. Nice behind the back dribble. As he drives this one in, it's going to be taken away, or it's going to be a rebound by the Rockets to Marquis Palmrider. Driving this one. He's going to get a fall and one. Excuse me. It's going to be a bucket and one as it's going to be a blocking fall against the Patriots. Is that anybody against Maust again? Maust? Uh, Is that who had? Nope, no, it's going to be against... Good against Heath Roth. Yes, thank you. No Tyler Heck Roth, his second of the evening. Palm Rider trying to make this a three point play. Back of the iron, no good. Trying to chase down by Palm Rider, but it's going to be taken by Maus. Moss with it now as he gets it over to Kramer. Kramer right there on the half court line as he's going to drive this one up. Being guarded by Turbush. Johnson comes right up on him. Moss with it now as he hands this off over to Heck Roth. Down goes Palm Rider. Nice little floater there by Heck Roth. He's able to fill it up and in. 43-18, 4 left to go here in this third quarter of play. Rao inbounds this to Palmrider. Bringing this up, it is going to be the Marquis Palmrider trying to get things rolling in the rocket direction. As you get over to Isaac Johnson, quickly on him is going to be Moss, though. Gets a little separation, puts up the three-point shot, fills it up. Much needed three-point shot there. As we're back down to a 43-21 ball game. So shrinking that lead, almost taken away by Palm Rider. Definitely needed that steal. Not able to do so. Heckroth gets that ball back, though, as he gets it over to Zimmer. Zimmer being guarded by Johnson. They're letting him play, that is for oh, sure. Yeah. They're letting him play. Kramer with the ball now. Long three-point shot here by Zimmer. No good. Going to be rebounded, nice. though. Broward. Kramer comes up with it, puts up the layup, no good. Gabe Robinson going to come up with the rebound as he brings this one down for the Rockets. 43-21, uh, Johnson in the corner, puts up the three-point shot. Heat check, no good as he comes up cold on that one. And the fans going to let him know that he airballed that one in case he was unaware. He's going to drive this one. It's going to be Kramer driving this one, excuse me. Fills it up and in, 45-21, 330 yeah. left to go here. Just like that, the, third lead, quarter. The, lead, the lead keeps where... The leads at you know uh, you, Reese is just not able to, to trim away the minute they think they might have something going it's it's totally the opposite way just like that uh, Kramer stopping in front of a lazy pass from Johnson and just able to pick it off and he, the USA is heading the other way so it is going to be the Patriot ball as they try to get that one up Johnson's going to swap that away Kramer luckily going to be right there with it Heckroth gets it as he flips it over to the oh, corner man. to Zimmer oh. in front of the iron no good that looked good from our angle it is going to be rebounded by the Rockets as it's going to be Gabe Robinson bringing this one down now as he's going to flip that one over. It's going to be out of bounds, and then we'll go back to the Patriots. And you can just see the frustration on the Rocket uh, faces out there. I mean, you, you got to have some kind of frustration on your face. I mean, when you find yourself down by 24 points, I mean, there has to be frustration all the way around. Just a tick under three minutes left to go here in this third quarter of play. 45-21, it is going to be the Patriots on top. Going to be Nor uh, Morton, excuse me, with it as he gets it up over to the hands of Ghetto. Ghetto gets it over, flips it to Morton. Long range three by Heckroth. Sound of the iron, no good. Rebounded. Turbush ends up with it as he's going to bring this one down now. 45 21, still your score. It's going to be Tanner Turbush driving this. 
flips it over as we got Isaac Johnson with it. Going to be guarded. It's going to be a nice block there by Ghetto. He tries to save it. He's going to step out of bounds. So we'll be back into the hands of the Rockets. Fast-paced game. They want the call. Not going to get the call. Great positioning there down low uh, by Mr. Gettle to uh, you know, pretty much put a big paw on top of that. And Johnson's going to launch a three. Not even close. Another air ball. And in case he was unaware, fans are going to let him know that he did air ball that one. Hey, the student section is going to make sure that you hear it loud and clear. And just like that, uh, USA heading the other way. So uh, probably not the shot you want. Unfortunately, it's going to have to be the shots that you're going to have to take. Uh, if you want to you want to try to trim into this lead, you're going to end up having to do it quick. That is for sure, as it is going to be USA now with the ball. Back up, back over to Zimmer. Zimmer, nice skip pass over to Bixman. He loses the handle on it, though. We got a battle for it. Give me a timeout. I think. Uh, Coach Gainsborough yeah, got it. get the timeout, okay. Yeah, full timeout. So they are going to take the timeout. It is going to be a full timeout. So we are going to stay right here, actually. I want to thank Thumb Area Psychological Services, only local agency offering counseling and applied behavioral analysis. Give them a call, 872-1800, or stop into their Carroll Cassidy location. Countryside Transport, they service what they sell. Call them at 883-2148. Visit them online, countrysidemi.com. In person, 3812 Bayport Road in Seabuin. Their wash bay now open. Also, drive to the shore to save you more. More shoreline Chevrolet Buick and Seabuin. Go USA. Uh, for all your insurance needs, contact Michigan Valley Insurance Agency in Unionville, providing the coverage you need and service you deserve. 674-4080. Cole Farm Center Field now taking reservations for indoor training, bedding cages, and lessons. 665-0925. It's a good number to go by uh, at halftime. Cody Reef being introduced as the new football coach here at Reese. He is a alum of Reese. Cody Reef. Yep, Cody Reef. Uh, that is not what it sounded like when they announced it. I know it, it did not sound like that. It sounded like he said Ken. It did. <laughs> That makes more sense, though. But yeah, Reef Cody. is more of a, a well, yep. I don't even know what he said for the last name. Let's be honest. So, yep, Cody Reef taking on over here. Which is interesting first. because uh, they just hired a head coach last year, so I don't know exactly if, what just wasn't a good fit or if maybe something else came up for him. But Yeah, I have no idea. This is a local hometown kid that uh, wanted to come back home as we get a turnover on the inbound. Just a little bit of miscommunication there by the Patriots. Going to go out of bounds. But, uh, yeah, so good to see that. Maybe get the uh, Rocket uh, football program back on the right track as we know uh, the the history, the tradition over here with the Reese Rockets and football. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of it. Going to be the Mark West Palm Rider with it. Gets it to Gabe Robinson. Robinson just hands it off over to the hands of number 20. It is going to be Foco, the freshman, coming up with that bucket. Now 45-23 your score. Under two minutes left to go here in this third quarter of play. Heckroll, nice, nice job. To Gets it over to Bixman. The big man down low fills it up and in. Like to see him get more involved, that's for sure. And they are doing so right there. As they flip that over and Bixman fills it up. 47-23, 130 left to go. Rockets with the ball once again. As they are trying to get something going and keep it rolling. Not able to do so because there's a Patriot roadblock right in their oh. way every time they get on the right track. Roadblock, and then it's a grader on the other end just pushing him out of the way. Going to be a play that tipped off of a USA Patriot player on the other side, so it will stay into the hands of the Rockets. Inbound pass going to be over to Palm Rider. Yeah, as they pass this one around, long range three by Robinson. Waiting for the and one, not going to get it. 47 26. Gabe Robinson coming up with another big three. Kramer trying to get some of those points right back. Rims in and out. Bixman luckily didn't get over the back there, trying to reach in and knock that one away as they come back down now fast and furious. It is the Rockets as they're trying to shut this down to the teens at this point. 47-26. Gabe Robinson's going to drive this. Almost got the end one as he just floats it up there. Going to be no good, but going to get the call here against Zimmer. That'll be the third fall of the evening here for U or excuse me, the second half for USA, and it will be the second for Zimmer. Zimmer trying to plead his case and. <laughs> Mr. Official doesn't want to hear it. Said, I saw what I saw, and I already called it. So. That's right. Gabe Robinson trims it down to a 20-point lead, 47-27, 48 seconds left to go. And the first shot by Mr. Robinson on the bottom of the net. Second shot uh, coming on up. Robinson looking over to the sideline, seeing what uh, Coach Kern wants. Second shot, finds nothing but the bottom of the net. That's what he wanted right there. 19-point differential now, 47-28, uh, 45 seconds left to go here. This third quarter, Michael Kramer bringing this one down. Stick around after the game for your post-game show brought to you by Dennis uh, 
Denny Miller, your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, as trying to get a call here. Are the Patriot fans a lot of uh, action going on away from the ball here? Kramer, a lot of action away from the ball. Kramer not letting any of this deter him as he is holding on to this one, trying to get away from his defender, using some nice dribble drives here, but pulls back on it between the legs. Denny Groove over there says, "Where's my five-second call?" There it is. They are going to get it finally. Got Kramer, it Kramer not happy about Levi it. Levi Foco on that one, getting a five-second call. Denny Gruber, the only one that uh, is okay with that call. <laughs> well, at least uh, in this general area over here, he, has, uh, he just told the official, good call. <laughs> I don't know how many of those he would have said back in the day. There, but, there, uh, there he says, <laughs> giving a little chirp back. 47-28, Rockets looking to put up the last shot of this third quarter. They're going to get the last shot. Long range three, no good. Tipped away, no good. Heckroth. Just kind of sidearms that looking like Patrick Mahomes out there as it's going to be well short of the bucket. 47-28 as we enter the fourth and final frame. We'll take 30 seconds. We'll come back. We've got more Game of the Week action. It is USA on top here. Classic Rock I-92. Stay right there. Larson Graphics in Vassar is your go-to for all your graphic and printing needs. They offer vinyl graphics with an array of options, small and large printing for everything from pamphlets and calendars to banners and entire wall graphics and everything in between. Have a business? Spruce it up with new signage or literally wear your brand on your sleeve with apparel options galore. Larson Graphics, located at 1065 East Huron Avenue in Vassar. Call 823-3000 or visit LarsonGraphics.com. That's LarsonGraphics.com. Welcome back to the Classic Rock I-92 High School Game of the Week. Let's get back to the action with Scott Bowlesby and Chris Wilcox. We are back with your action here on Classic Rock I-92. Weird night tonight. Uh, we just had Christmas music being played by the band. Um, it's been almost, what, a month? It's been a month today. Yeah. Maybe that's why they're celebrating. Maybe They're, they're smarter than we are. Maybe Maybe that's the reason. That doesn't I, really, I, that doesn't really, uh, <laughs> it's not really hard. I'll be honest. No. Uh, real quick, though. Uh, final, speaking of weird nights, how about Millington getting a victory over their Frankenmuth Eagle counterparts as they knocked them off 68-61. Congratulations, Millington Cardinals. Big night for them. Yeah, huge night. 26 for Zach York, 22 for Ethan Brady, 12 for Braden Henderson. Floater here for Gabe Robinson starting up the fourth quarter. Shut this down to a 17-point game, 47-30, 7.45 left to go in this final frame as they keep things rolling here. Rockets looking to do anything at all as we get some uh, physicality down here. Coach Gainforth not happy at all. Heckroth with the ball, flips it over to the hands of Morton. Back over to Ghetto. Ghetto picks up a nice screen there by Bixman. Just flips the ball back on over. Folks are going to get called on that one. Finally going to get a call here, and I know Micah not uh, happy with the way things been going, waiting for that call. Finally gets it right there, and that is again going to be against Reese. See, the thing is, is Krimer's not going to get deterred by that either. I mean, he, no. he, he's the type of kid he's going to play through that. He's, he's it, it doesn't bother him. You know, that's that's just his game, and he's got great ball handling skills on top of it. Cool under fire, that is for sure here. In those heated moments as Kramer going to drive this one. He's being guarded by Focal once again. It's out to the big man, Bixman. Bixman flips it over to Gettle. Get over to hand, or hands it out to Heckroth. Heckroth backs up on this. As he's trying to get around. He gets it on over, back over to Kramer. Kramer going to drive this. Nice, nice drive there by Kramer as he fills it up and in. 49-30, increases his lead back to 19. Just when they think they got something going. Michael Kramer well, and the USA go, Patriots come back down and come back into it. Hole, you might as well go hard to the hole. 6.45 left to go in this fourth quarter. Going to be a drive once again. Gabe Robinson, no good. Nice rebound by the Rockets. We're going to get a call here by, or on the Patriots, I should say, and that is going to be against number 11, Micah Kramer. That should be his third of the evening. I believe so. First. Uh, first. Where am I at? Heckroth has two. That's all right. Yes. Inbound pass here by the Rockets. Looking for something over to Gabe. Gabe luckily has that uh, arm reach as he's able to pull that one in. Almost went out of bounds. As it is going to be Palm Rider with it for the Rockets. Going to drive this one. Trying to put it up. Going to go out the hand of a Patriot. Going to go out of bounds. So it will be an inbound pass here for Reese. Still down 49-30 to 30 with 6.30 left to go in this ball game. So trying to shrink this lead. And going to have to start putting the foot on the uh, gas a little bit more here. Nice inbound pass, wide open under the basket. It is going to be Foco, I believe, once again, 
as he fills that one up and in, make this now 49-32. Good uh, stop here for Reese would be huge. Ghetto with it. Gets it over to Morton. Kramer open in the corner. Focal right there with him. Back over to Heckroth. Heckroth now going to drive this one off the backboard. No good. Nice stop there by the Rockets. Brecklesbauer going to get the rebound as he's going to bring this one up. And he quickly flips that back on over to the hands of Foco, or excuse me, Frost. Palmrider bringing this one down, 49-32, 540, or excuse me, 553 left to go. Nice try there nice by Palmrider as he is able to fill that one up and in. Shuts this back down now to a 15-point game, 49-34, 543 left to go. Kramer now with it. He's going to drive this one. Going to be triple teamed almost down low. Passing this one back around. Heckroth going to drive this one. Not much. In the lane, Bixman right there, though, as he's able to clean up the mess, fills it up and in. 51-34, back. Increasing that lead, 525 left to go. you got to have that big man down low that can be able to help you on out. Not going to be able to fill that one up. Is the Rockets going to be taken back? Morton wide open, nobody with him. Gabe Robinson trying to go up there for the block. Morton able to fill it up and in. Back to a 19-point game. So just when they shrink that back down to 15, Chris, they open it right back up to a 19-point game. Five minutes exactly left to go here in this ball game. Well, if you're Reese, you got to make sure that the shots count when you take those shots. And Palm right right there, making sure it counted as he is going to be going to the line here. We'll see if we get this against. It is going to be against number 42, Keegan Bixman. It is the fifth fall for the team. It is the third for Bixman of the game. Palm right are going to step to the line here. Going to be uh, going to be shooting two. First shot up and finds the net. I dropped my cap. Hang on. Well, don't drop your cap, man. Don't want to do that. Bixman going to be taking a seat in ghetto. Sorry, Chris. No, Not you're, your job. No, <laughs> you're, you're fine. Miles checking on in. Zimmer checking on in as well. Second shot by Palm Rider. No good. Rebound by Mr. Zimmer. You have to hit those freebies. Any chance you get. 4.49 left to go here in this ball game. It is still all USA up 53-35. Holding this uh, Rocket Squad under 40 points this evening. They didn't get out of the uh, 40s last time, did they? Either time, either squad? Mm, for the last meeting? Yeah. Yes. They did? Uh, uh, no, no, they did not. Not on the last meeting. Nash Warren puts sure. up the shot. No good. Going to be rebounded here by the Rockets. I forgot to mention a uh, interesting historical stat uh, at the pregame, but we'll, we'll talk about it in the postgame show, as it is going to be the shot there missed by the Rockets, and it's going to be Kramer on the other end now after the rebound. Puts up that shot right around the area where he won the game last time. Nice He's going to get his own rebound. Morton. Oh, Morton got that yep. rebound? Speaking of, or, excuse me, that was Landon Zimmer as he floats that one up and in. Back to 20 points is your score. 55, 35, 350 left to go here in this fourth quarter of play. Give me timeout. Timeout, Coach Kern and the Rockets. There we go, 55, 35. So you want to hear my random historical stat that I, 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 do, I do this actually. every game. I try to find something random. The earliest game I could find between these two squads because it's really hard to find. Uh, neither of them I could find yearbooks on. February 20th, 1942, Unionville. Not Unionville Seawing, because at one point they were split all the way up to, what, the 70s, I believe. Unionville knocking off Reese, 48-25. They went to 11-0 in the Tuscola Little 7. You want to know who was in uh, that conference? Tuscola Little 7, yep. Unionville, Mayville, Fairgrove, Kingston, Millington, Reese, Akron. My favorite conference was, I don't know exactly what the name of it was. This is who was in it. Gagetown, Elkton, Port Austin, Bayport, Owendale, Ubley, Port Hope, Kindy, Pinnabog. Pinnahu? Pinnabog. Pinnahu. Pinnabog had a school. They did not win a game that year, but they were there. Sometimes that happens. Interesting. Uh, as we're getting a bunch of youngsters coming in here for the Rockets. Pretty much all freshmen, right? Yeah, I believe so. You have this. Sorry. No, Sean Sean Weil is out there. He's a uh, senior. 2021. 20, Connor Goka is a junior. And 
Jake Rao, Tanner Turbush, and I cannot see who's in the corner. It looks like 13. Is it? Is it 13? Yeah, Michael Sheridan. Michael Sheridan, yes. Okay. Sheridan with the ball as getting it up over here. Nice rebound. Reese going to come up with it. Turbush with it now as he's trying to drive this one. Going to be taken away by Morton. Morton back down the other end. He's going to fill it up and in. <laughs> There's nobody on USA that can throw it down, is there? Uh, you know what? I have no idea. I was hoping there would be some kind of breakaway dunk here, but not going to happen. It's going to be taken away by USA. Gets it over to Kramer. Kramer back on over to Morton. Back over to Heckroth. Third, or excuse me, 57-35. And basically bringing in bench players like this, all but waving the white flag for the Reese Rockets at this oh, yeah. point. Well, getting some of those players some playing time. And uh, we well, only put there. up six points in that first quarter. We're making and, a push uh, off here by Morton. It, 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 it's kind of hard. One of my favorite. I guess one of my favorite arrogant things to do in basketball that I love watching some kids do is when a player gets an offensive foul like that, that time being Morton, holding the ball in his hand saying, hey, wh wh why did I get the call? Kind of kind of complaining to the official. Well, take it out of their hand. And the other player comes up, grabs it out of the hand. Yeah. Let's, come on, let's play. Yeah. We've got, we got a game to play here. As that was the case there with Turbush just taking it out of Morton's hand saying, all right, let's keep, uh, let's keep this going here. As we get some uh, players coming in for USA that you don't normally see, as well, uh, we got number 24, Bryce Langmaid, checking into this ball game. Sophomore, also number 23. No, 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 no. That's the JV one up top. Oh, thank you. No problem. Cruz Fernandez, and who's the other one? Cade Ryerson. Cade Ryerson. Oh, right. Yeah, Ryerson. Sorry. We'll get it right eventually. Chris. No problem. We're getting a checkouts here of Kyle Mouse and also Micah Kramer checking out of the ball game. Feeling pretty good as nice inbound pass here. Goka putting up the shot, filling it up. 57 37, 219 left to go. You got to feel pretty good if you are Michael Kramer as you get the sweep done in your senior season. Nice uh, tap away there by Turbush. Cody Babcock trying to put that one on the ground and get a dribble out of it. Turbush says, don't bring it down this low. Fernandez going to inbound this ball for the Patriots. <laughs> going to be an inbound or going to be a Ooh. drive here by the Patriots going to go down hard it's going to be Reese bringing it back down the other way Turbush now over in the corner going to put up the shot rims out no good going to be rebounded by the Patriots USA coming back down Fernandez with a spin move here going to try to get this luckily is able to find his man going to get a three point shot by the Patriots trying to see if it runs in the team not able to fill up the three-point shot. It's going to be rebounded by the Rockets. Turbush back down the other way. 140 left to go. 20-point game. Turbush going to drive this. He's going to be knocked down. Going to get the fall and draw here. Drawled. I don't know what I'm talking now. Drew. Drawled. <laughs> Southern draw. Uh, going to be drawing that fall. There we go. And Fernandez and uh, Ghetto helping Turbush right back up. 57-37. 136 left to go. Turbush uh, step into the line for one of two, misses the first. Finding themselves still bound by 20. Rims in and out, no good by Turbush. Turbush rips the ball off, though, at the offensive board and getting Kills it on one. Give it up for the young man. <laughs> thank you, Sherry Muxlow. Yes, thank you uh, for. Uh, we saw you guys here. We're going to say hi, but uh, uh, it's kind of hard. Oh, we got a player down. Cruz Fernandez down. Looks like he's in uh, some pain. That is for sure. It's never a good sign. No, that is. I didn't see him down over there. Can't see past the student section. I do apologize, but looks like they're working on the left left leg. Is it the one he's bending or the one he's got straight? I don't know exactly. It looks like they're working on yes, left leg. It looks like the knee. Or actually, they're working on the ankle, high ankle area. Yeah. So definitely not a good sign. Um, real quick, uh, we will uh, stay right here with you guys as we got a minute 31 left to go, 57-39. Uh, we will not be on the air tomorrow. Let's talk sports. No show. You can blame me. Um, I won't blame you. I got a Christmas present uh, to go to Tigers Fest. I went a couple of years ago. I figured I'd go again. Uh, it's fun. Family's going to go. And uh, going to go down. And I know that uh, Christian announced last Saturday he's having a sleep study done. So... Um, that's also going on tomorrow as well. Not during the day, obviously. 
Yeah, we, he's not a vampire. No, he's no, he's not. Hernandez getting up gingerly, very gingerly. Not putting any any real weight at all on that one. No, he's not. Not something uh, you like to see. Obviously, you like to uh, see a player get off under his own power. So. All the best to Cruz Fernandez. I didn't see exactly what happened. There was a tumble down there with Turbush as he drove that one. He was able to fill it up, get the uh, fall, and I believe, was that against Cruz? Yeah, it was. It was against Cruz Fernandez, so obviously taking a bump there. So, yeah, he's definitely Went needing some help off. Room. Yep. Right to the locker room there. So the best to uh, Cruz Fernandez, hopefully uh, finding out it's uh, – Nothing too serious as we get a shot here. The and one no good. It's going to be taken, though, by the Rockets. Putting up the three-point shot, no good. Who was that put up? Sheridan puts up the three-point shot, no good. Rebounded by the Patriots. We're going to get a call against USA, or excuse me, against the Rockets. Number 10, Sean Weil. Yeah, going to be his first of the game. It's going to be an uh, inbound pass here to uh, USA. And Nash Morton going to bring this one on down, closing it on out with almost a minute left here in the ballgame. So it is going to be Connor Gettle now with it. Flips that over to Morton, trying to get inside, almost taken away by Rao. Goes off his fingertips, it's going to be taken by the Patriots, though. Trying to drive this one. Ryerson being guarded now. It's going to be Morton with it. Flips that back over to Ryerson. He's number 32. Joey Gola, who ended up with a shot. Gola, Joey Gola, like there you go. Joey Gola putting his name on the score sheet this evening. 59-39. There's going to be a drive here by the Rockets. They're going to start jumping, and it's going to make it even harder. Makes them all about six inches taller when they start doing that. <laughs> Jump, it's gonna be a walk start here. shaking. Yeah, it's going to be a walk there against Turbush, and it will be the Patriots bringing this one down. 59-39 is your score. We'll see if that is the final score here. We'll see if they try to push the issue for another bucket or not. I would say no. Even on an open <laughs> shot like that? And the, the student section yelling, shoot it, shoot it. <laughs> we'll say they're just going to pull back on this one, and that'll be your final score. It will be a 20-point win here for the Patriots in Rocket Country. 59-39. We're going to close things out here. We have your post-game show brought to you by Denny Miller, your local Farm Bureau insurance agent located in Vassar. Let's take a couple minutes. We'll come back. More Game of the Week actions. I-92.